Hi gang! In this video I'm going to show you how to draw eyes in Adobe Illustrator and I think you'll be surprised at how simple it really is. So here are the pieces that make up an eyeball and none of them are very difficult to draw. So let's get to it. I'm going to turn this layer off and let's turn on this here. Whoops. Let's turn on this. I've got an image of a face because it's much easier to work if you have an eye to trace. And before we get started on it, I need to turn this into a template. To do that, I'll double click on the layer, click this little template box, and click OK. And now it's locked so it won't move on me, and it's also much lighter so it's easier to draw on top of. We're going to make a new layer, make sure that there's no fill, a black stroke, and I'm going to grab my pen tool and we're going to start with the eyebrow. For the eyebrow, I click at the beginning, I click and drag a little bit at the high point of the arch and then I click down at the end. And there's some brushes in Illustrator that happen to make terrific eyebrows. So I'm going to open my brushes and click on the library button in the bottom left hand corner. We want artistic chalk charcoal pencil. And there are some great brushes here for eyebrows depending on how polished and plucked you want them to be. This one is my personal favorite but I want it to be a little bit thinner, so I'm going to go back to the stroke panel and change it from one point to, let's see, 0.5, that's a little too thin, maybe 0.75. That works. So now I've got my eyebrow in place. The next thing I need to do is the outline of the eye. So I am going to hit enter to release what I previously drew, and then I'm going to start at the inner corner of the eye, and I'm going to go click, click and drag at the top, click at the bottom, click and drag, click, and then click and drag over here to create that little shape. And there's my eye shape. I'm going to go back to my stroke panel, change it back to one point, and at the bottom for the profiles, I'm going to change it to this profile here so it gives me a nice tapered shape. And We don't need the brushes anymore, so let's close this. So the shape I just drew, I'm going to switch to the black arrow, reselect it, and copy it for later. So Control or Command C to copy because we're going to need this again. All right, let's draw the pupil. It's just made up of two circles. So I'm going to grab my ellipse tool, start in the center, hold my Alt and Shift key and click and drag to make my pupil. And now let's fill it with a gradient. I'm going to go over to my gradients. Oh, and by the way, I've got this set up as Essentials Classic. If you click on the drop down at the top here, Essentials Classic. That's how I've got all these things open. So if you're in regular Essentials, you might need to switch to find all these things that I'm using. So I've got my ellipse. I am in Gradient. I'm going to click on Radial Gradient, making sure that my fill is active and not my stroke. So here's my Radial Gradient. And to change the color, you just click on this little target here. So I'm going to double click on that and it opens up my swatches. Let's make these eyes green. I'm going to double click on the one on the right to open up my swatches and we'll pick a dark green. And I can switch to my color palette here and make it even darker so I get some nice intensity going there. And now I can also play around with this little diamond and decide how much of the dark green I want versus the light green. So I can slide it this way and make it very dark, but I tend to like a little more light in my eye, so I'm going to keep it towards the right. And let's take the stroke on the outside of the eye and make it really tiny. Now for the pupil. We're going to switch to the black arrow and click on the page to release this and go back to the ellipse tool, start in the center, hold Alt and Shift, and click and drag out my pupil. And then I'm going to go up here to my control bar and drop down and change the pupil to black. Back to my black arrow, shortcut key is the letter V on the keyboard, and then shift click the iris and then right click group so they move around as one piece. So let's go back to the layers panel. I need to make a clipping mask to put this eye inside the eye outline. So we're going to open this up and we need to make sure that the container, which is the eye outline, is on top of the eyeball. So we're going to click on it and just drag it up on top. Now we can select both pieces with the black arrow, right click, 
make clipping mask. It's great because it put the eyeball inside the eye outline, but we also lost the eye outline stroke. We can restore that by pasting in front, control F for front, the piece that we previously copied. And that's why we did that. But we also need a fill on this because it's currently transparent. And I don't want to fill the piece I just pasted because it'll cover this piece. So where you see the eyeball here, and I'll open this wider, you can see that it's called a clipping group. We're going to twirl that open and select the clipping path, which is the eye outline, by clicking on the target. Now that that's selected, we're going to fill it with a gradient. So I'm going to go back to my gradient, and this time, again, make sure we're in the fill and not the stroke, radial gradient, and we're going to click over here and make this one white, and we're going to click on this slide, the dark green slider, Actually, we're double clicking, not just single clicking. And we are going to make this gray. So I'm going to go ahead and click on black for the moment. And then I'm going to take this slider and lighten it up. So it's a very light gray. And I'm going to move the little triangle a little further to the right because I just want this at the very edges to give the effect of dimension to this eyeball. All right, so now we've got our eye shape with its fill and we need to do two more things and that's the eye crease and the eyelashes. We'll release this. I'm gonna go back to my pen tool and let's do the eye crease. The eye crease is basically just a shape that's click, click drag and click at this end. I am gonna go back to my default colors and then just change the white to none. Now this will look much nicer if we taper the edges. So we're going to go back to the stroke panel and here the layers panel might be a little distracting so let's just minimize it for now and stick it up here. So we're going to go back to the stroke panel and we are going to add this top profile to it so it tapers the edges and we're also going to lower the opacity. So I'm going to go to the opacity which is right here. Actually, it's called transparency panel. And in it, I am going to lower the opacity here to, I don't know, somewhere around in the 50s so that it's much softer looking because I don't need that to be a really strong part of the eye. It just needs to be there to help with the shape. All right. The last thing we need to do is eyelashes. So we are going to go ahead and draw an eyelash. And I'm just going to, whoops, Hit enter to release that. Click, click and drag on a slight angle. And that's gonna make an eyelash. We're gonna go back to the stroke panel and I'm gonna make sure that the caps are rounded. And in the profiles, we're gonna select this triangle profile here. Now it's upside down. I want the thin point on top. So I'm just gonna use this icon to flip the direction. And there's an eyelash. Now, I think I'm going to make this eyelash just a little bit larger. And I find that the eyes look better if you oversize the eyelashes just a little bit. Now, to apply it, I could make multiples of this and try to place them one at a time. But a faster way is to make a brush. So I'm going to select this eyelash, open up my brushes panel. We're going to make a new brush. And the one we want is a scatter brush. So I'll select that and click OK. It's going to open this big window and for now I'm just going to click OK. And you can see it puts the brush up there. And I can go ahead and delete my single eyelash now. So to use the brush, we're going to go back to the pen tool. Shortcut is P. And I'm just going to go and click and click and drag for where I want my eyelashes to be. And notice I went a little bit farther out than the eye and I started in a little bit where I want the lashes to start. And now I can apply my eyelash brush, which initially looks terrible. That's okay. We're going to make some adjustments. Double click on the icon for the eyelash brush in the brush options and make sure preview is set. We're going to start by adjusting the spacing. I'm going to take this slider and drag it to the left until the eyelashes are much closer together. Then I'm going to go to rotation and I'm going to drag this slider also to the left to change the direction of the lashes so that they're a little more dramatic. 
and it looks like I can still tighten up the spacing some more. So we'll do that and click OK. So now I can just do a little bit of adjusting. I'm going to switch to my white arrow, which is letter A for the shortcut. And I'm just going to move this up and move this in a little bit so that my lashes are sitting where I want them. There we go. And now I've got my eyelashes. Now, one thing that's really important is we need to expand this brush now that we've used it. Otherwise, when we do the eye on the other side, the eyebrows are going to do something really strange. Um, you know what? Actually, let me show you so that you know what I'm talking about. If I go to reflect these eyelashes, so O to reflect, Alt or Option click, vertical, copy, look what happens the eyelashes continue to go in the same direction rather than mirroring and we don't want that to happen. So we need to expand the brush. And to do that, all you have to do is select the path with the eyelash brush. We're going to go Object, Expand Appearance. And now it's a bunch of individual shapes instead of a brush and everything's going to work out fine. All right, so there's our eye. Now that we've got all these pieces, we're going to select the whole thing and we're going to make it a symbol. So I'm going to open up my symbols palette and click new and we'll call it I. Click OK and control minus. Now we can reflect it to the other side. So we'll select it, O to reflect, Alt or Option click on the center, vertical, copy. And there's the eye on the other side. And if I need to, I can nudge it over just a little bit. And now I've got a pair of eyes. The only thing they're missing right now are the little catch lights. And we have to do the catch lights after we reflect it. Otherwise, it comes out looking cross-eyed a little bit. So we're going to take the ellipse tool. And I'm just going to draw a little circle. And I want that to be white. So I'll hit default here and then just get rid of the stroke. So there's my catch light and then I'll click on it, hold my Alt and Shift key or Option and Shift key and drag it over to the same place on the other eye. And if you want to get a little fancier, sometimes I'll also grab the rectangle tool and draw just a tiny little rectangle right there. And we can do the same thing. Take that, hold the Alt and Shift key and drag it to the other side. And now that both sides are done, I'll select the whole thing, click on New, and now I have, we'll call it Eyes Plural, click OK. And, oops, sorry, I already saved something as Eyes, so we'll call it Eyes 2, click OK. And now whenever I need a pair of eyes, I can just drag them right out of my symbols panel and they're good to go. So that is how to draw eyes in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you found this useful. Uh, if you like the tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or requests for future tutorials, please leave them in the comment section. And if you'd like to learn more about using Adobe for fashion, please check out my LinkedIn learning courses. I'll leave links down in the description box. Thanks for watching. See you next time.